Are you dating like Cousin Janice say you should date? How are you dating, girl? Are you dating the same old kind of way? Or, or if you've been over here at the church, girl, for three months, at least three months, listening to my content, reading my books, especially this book. If you have to read any of my books on dating, read this one, okay? Are you dating? Are you dating like uh, Cousin Janice says to date? This is a question in my community tab, in my um, the comments on one of my videos. We're going to go ahead and read it. No, shout out to Nani, Nani2552. I asked her, can I read her question? And I, I want you ladies to respond to her comment. It is Sunday morning. I am wearing my dating tutu 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 shirt uh, available on Etsy if you want a dating shirt. Ah, uh, girl, the birds are chirping. I just opened my window. Fresh air's coming in. I've been up early, honey, cooking. My man coming home tonight, girl. My baby's dad is coming home tonight. He was in Canada for a week. And for a whole day, they had no internet, no phone, no Uber. They couldn't, they couldn't use their credit card to buy nothing. He said, baby, I miss you. I can't wait to get back home. I can't wait. I can't wait. He's like, I'm going to kiss the soil when I get off that plate in Texas. I'm going to kiss the ground. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Hopefully y'all going to church. Uh, we're not. We do Sunday school here, okay? All right. Let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, shout out to Nini again. Thank you for allowing us to share your story. Ask her, how did she want me to respond? And, uh, oh God, I missed it. Oh. She said it was okay for me to read it, a lot, to do a video on it. I was trying to make it bigger and I, um, I messed it up. Okay, so let's go ahead and get it. Uh, be sure to check my video I did out last night about Noi and Steve. Yes, honey. I, as a matter of fact, I was supposed to come back and do this video, but my little one was real. Oh, mommy, I need you. I need you to cuddle up with me, mommy. I said, what you going to do when you go away to college, Michael? Are you going to stay on campus? Are you going to come home every night to cuddle up with your mother? He said, oh, I'm coming home every night to cuddle up with you and daddy. I said, okay. I should record him, okay, so I could have this 10 years later to remind him what he said. Okay, shout out to Na Nani. Nani 2552. She, this is in response to the Creflo Dollar video I did about Creflo Dollar said what about tithing? I still have some comments that I need to respond under that, but um, I want to go ahead and read this one. Uh, Janice, uh, and so let me just tell you what I believed about tithing. Tithing is not under the law. So because tithing is not under the law, it's not something that you have to do. It's not something you are forced to do. The law is something that you, you are forced to do. It's the law of the 10 commandments of Moses is the law of God that we can't keep. That's why Jesus came to keep the law for us. And so because tithing is not under the law, though, People always refer to tithing under the law as in, in Malachi when it says, will a man rob God? Yes, you have robbed me in tithes and offering. Okay. However, and I'm going to do a separate video on this. The apostle Paul says, well, Jesus, first Jesus said, God loves a cheerful giver. And the apostle Paul said, bring to the church what has been instituted for you to give, okay? So you are supposed to give. The children of Israel, the Jewish people, are still reaping the blessings and the benefits from when they gave so much to build the temple. Remember? They gave so much. Moses had to say, 
and the uh, the priest had, okay all right that's enough that's enough that's enough that's enough that's enough okay but before the law was instituted abraham tithe uh jacob tithe and what abraham did was god blessed him so much he said no i got to give some of this to god i got to give some of this to god and when one of the other kings forgot forgetting his name right now the king of Sodom, I believe it's Sodom. When they, the other king that was warring against him kidnapped uh, uh, Lot, Abraham and his household came and fight the king and got Lot back and got all the king's spoil. The king wanted to bless Abraham. And what did Abraham say? Abraham said, no, no, no. I don't want it. Listen, you say you made Abraham rich. Abraham said, give it to the young man who came in fight, but I don't want nothing from him. Because he didn't want the king to take glory for what God has done in his life, okay? So that is what I believe in about tithing and offering. It is my number two on my list. And I would not marry a man who don't believe in tithing, giving, whatever you want to call it. So let me go ahead and read this. That's what I believe in, in on tithing, okay? Nani, she's a Janice. So glad you're touching this. My new husband makes a large salary in his career. Before we got married, we did a budget and I included tithing, giving, and he was reluctant to put it in the budget. My husband also plays the bass for his church part-time earning an extra $17,000 a year. Now that we're married four months, I've never seen him give to church, even though we budgeted for it. I always tithe, but I seen this mess, but he seen this message from Creflo and said, I'll give when I feel compelled to. This worries me. We literally have so much money coming in between our two salaries, but consider this. His credit is bad, and we can't move out of my small condo I purchased before marrying him to buy a bigger house. We're paying for a large reception and run out of cash. And lastly, he has no life insurance. This reminds me of the scripture, you earn wages to put in a bag with holes. Hallelujah. I would get up and walk around, but I got the little booty shorts on. Of course, my husband's coming and explain. I want to pray. <laughs> Haggai 1, 5 to 6. I love my new husband, period. She continues, I love my new husband, but I believe in my heart that him being stingy with his money is a reflection of what we have today. FYI, we did pre-marriage counseling, discussed our salaries, road budgets, etc., I asked if he gave to church and he said yes prior to getting married. Also, I started dating the way you describe on your channel these past two years and I'm happily married. Thank you. So the question is, I want you to answer the question, cousins. Did Nani date the way I said we should date? You should date. Yes, no, and tell me why. Yes, she dated the way I said to date. Tell me why. No, she did not date the way I said date. Uh, shout out to Gone Rogue. Gone Rogue, I haven't seen you in a minute. I'm not going to read the comments, but I'm going to read... Um, Gonro responded, and I'm going to read what Nani says, okay? 
Now, and he responded to Gone Roll comment that I'm not going to read because I want you to answer the question yourself. She says, not offended at all. I'm hoping she'll read and respond. Well, let me just read the first one. Uh, Gone Rogue says, I hope because of Janice's response to your comment because I want to read what she says, okay? She said, I'm not offended. Uh, I hope she responds to my scenario as well. She said, my husband attended and attends church regularly. Cookies were off the table and we waited until married. We marriage, we prayed together every morning. He has a great professional career, no extra baggage, and profess he wanted to financially take care of us. He makes two times more than I do. These small financial issues crept up when we got married, and I had no way of knowing, for example, his credit score. I assumed because he drove a very nice car and had an expensive apartment that his credit was together. She said, thank you for responding. Gone Rogue responded and said, I am so happy you are not offended, period. I'm not going to read anymore, okay? And then I respond and says, Nani, thanks so much for sharing your story. You are married, so I have to handle with kid gloves. So how about I do a quick video and ask the other ladies to comment? I think your story uh, can be a great help to the other ladies that stayed in for marriage. She responded, I would love for you to do a video. I have truly appreciated your wisdom over the years, and I tried my best to date properly. I am a daughter of a pastor and didn't learn to properly date until about three years ago. I'm divorced, and this is my second marriage, 35 and no children. All right? So, ladies, what do you think? So, Nani, as I said, you are married. This is not like married at first sight where they put the people together. You're married. So, I have to handle with kid gloves. So, I am putting it out to all the cousins. Nani said she dated the way I said to date. Did she date the way I said to date? Yes, and tell me why, or no, and tell me why. Okay, I think this story is an excellent example of that we can use to help each other because the reason why you're listening to me is because I want to help you. I want to help you learn to date better choose the best husband for you and stop doing what you've been doing to get you to where you are. What is dating? Dating is about data, gathering data. What is the purpose of the data you are gathering so that you can make an informed decision? An informed decision about what? An informed decision about the man you want to marry, the man you are dating, the man you're thinking about marrying. Do you have all the information? Do you have all the data you need to make an informed decision about him before you marry him? That's what it means to date. I absolutely love you. If you do not have 23 types of guys you might have, you might meet, get this book, okay? Read The Naked Wife. Read 10 Years a Girlfriend. These are my three books on dating. Take the cookie off the table. But if you have to get one book, if all you have is $20, get the 23 types of guys you might meet. As a matter of fact, the ebook is on sale for $5.99, I think. Okay. And let me know. I'll be in the comments. I'm cooking for my baby daddy and I'm cleaning up. So I'm going to be in these comments and I need to watch you married at first sight. All right. I absolutely love you. I adore you. Let me know what you think. Bye. See you later.